Have you ever wondered how a metal in your smartphone went all the way from deep underground to your pocket? Interesting, right? Look around, wherever you are watching this video from, you are always surrounded by metal. As a matter of fact, you have some metal inside your body. Understand how all this metal are extracted from the earth. So the question is, where does metal come from? Interesting thing is, it comes from earth and it is hiding in a plain sight. Does that mean there are chunks of metal in the ground? If so, then how can that metal transformed into a shape that we are seeing today. There are some special rocks on the earth. You can find some special kind of metals. For example, look at this video. There are some metal that shows off red color. Most probably the iron gives off red color because of that reaction with the oxygen. And similarly, if you see in the same video, there are some rocks which gives blue color, blue or green color. They are mainly copper or brass. When we find rocks that contains metal, what we do is we get them together and break them and the machines called impactors and compactors, metal particles are all mixed up with the rock. It is very hard to separate them with normal methods that we have. There are special methods to separate them from the rock and dust particles to a metal. Those methods are called electrolysis and smelting. As soon as we determine what kind of ore we are dealing with, we use a special methods based on the elements that is hiding behind those rocks. Iron reacts with magnet, so we use special kind of magnetic belts after we crush those rocks. Some other metals react differently with electricity, so we use electrolysis method to separate them from the raw earth. Iron burns at more than 4000 degree Fahrenheit, so industrial furnace which can get more than thousands of degrees of Celsius of temperature. They liquefy the rock and the iron and then they use flux material to separate all the impurities from the raw metal and then we separate the metal in a liquid shape then we put them into ingots which are further processed in the shape that we are seeing using day-to-day -day fabrication activities. Now with electrolysis we use acid and cathode and an anode to separate the right metal particles. So now you have separated the metal parts. It is very easy for everyone to shape them in, in special shapes using industrial furnace and casting and foundry technologies. Further down there are some other techniques which are called fabrication techniques uh, which I will explain in my next video. To further develop those raw metal we develop a special kind of methodologies those called fabrication techniques. We use fabrication techniques to get them from raw shape to a final shape that you are looking in there. Thank you very much for watching guys. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe.